In this video, we'll take a look at how to install Neo4j in a Windows environment. In particular, I'm running Windows 8.1. The process should be similar for earlier versions of Windows as well. The first step in installing Neo4j is to make sure that I have a recent enough version of Java. You need at least Java 7 in order to run Neo4j. And so the easiest way to check what version of Java you have is to open a command prompt window and issue the command Java with an option of version. And we'll see here, I'm running Java version 1.8.0 underscore 25, which is the long way of saying version 8.25. So I have a current enough version of Java. In fact, that's the current release as of today. Uh, if you don't have a current enough version of Java or any version of Java, uh, you can go to the Oracle website and download the appropriate standard edition development kit. It's open source, so you don't have to pay a fee. You just have to accept the license agreement. Uh, and then make sure you download the Windows installer for the correct version for your machine. So x86 if you have a 32-bit machine, x64 if you have a 64-bit machine. Uh, once you install the current version of Java, um, or if you already have it installed, the next step will be to download the Neo4j files. So to do that, I go to neo4j.com slash download, and I'm going to choose the Community Edition because it's meant for learning, for development, uh, and for small projects. Uh, it's not meant for production level deployment. Uh, we don't need the enterprise version for this course, uh, but you can download the 30-day free trial if you like. So I'll download the community edition, click on the link, and it should download it automatically. Uh, if not, there's a direct link here that you can use to download the file. And what we're downloading is a Windows installer file, uh, so we sh we'll be able to click on that once it downloads and it'll install things automatically. So we'll give it just a moment to download. It's a 67 megabyte file. Uh, so depending on your internet speed, it might take a little bit. Once it's done downloading, I'll run the uh, installer file. I may have to give it permission to run, depending on my security setup. So I'll say yes, go ahead and run it. Click Next. And here you should read the licensing agreement and accept the agreement and tell it where you wish to download Neo4j. So I'm actually going to download it to a directory which I'll just call Neo4j on my C drive. Click Next. You can create shortcuts as appropriate. Click Next. And it will extract the files that are necessary. On Windows, uh, there's a relatively easy way to start and stop the service. You can do so from the command prompt, uh, but you can also run the Neo4j uh, startup tool, and you'll see here it says choose a graph database directory, then start the server. So you can browse to a different directory if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave that as the default directory, and I'm going to click start. And when I click start, Neo4j takes just a couple of seconds, and you can see it says Neo4j is ready, browse to localhost colon 7474. And then when I do that, what we'll see is that I get the browser interface for Neo4j. So my service is now running, uh, and in order to stop the service, I go back to the Neo4j community tool here, and I click stop. And Neo4j will take just a few seconds to shut down. And then it brings me back to choose a graph database directory, and then start the server. And that's it. That's how to start and stop Neo4j. I have everything installed that I need.